I'm Nicola Cochran and I'm going to play Last Time I on the Kelly Claxon Show. The last time I was starstruck was when I met one of the members of Monty Python, Michael Palin. We were at an award ceremony and I didn't realize he was going to be there. And then I looked and he was like two foot away from me and I just started bawling, crying. I had never been truly starstruck before then, but that was an absolute disaster because I just couldn't stop. I loved him so much. Oh, the last time I had an awkward audition, this wasn't the last time, this was quite a long time ago, but it was, an audition where you were meant to be able to speak fluent Irish and I thought I could wing it. Turns out don't try and wing speaking another language because it, it's just don't do it, trust me. Last time I texted a Bridgerton co-star, oh gosh, I send Claudia Jessie who plays Eloise, I send her a lot of memes and stuff because she doesn't use social media so I'll send her uh, Penelope Eloise or Penelope's as people like to say fan art and things like that. We text each other a lot of silly things. We have a similar sense of humor, so yeah. Last time I Googled myself, oh gosh. It's because, well, I sometimes Google myself because my mom is in her 70s and she's got a smartphone and she doesn't understand algorithms. So things, articles will come up about me and she said, why, where did that thing come from? That thing on the internet, now it's gone. And I said, what is it? She said, you were talking about a thing. So I'll Google myself in order to find out what she is talking about and what she's found on the internet. <laughs> Last time I hugged an animal, oh, this makes me really sad, actually. It would have been on the set of Bridgerton. There were two puppies in the makeup trailer. There was Yuri and Teddy. And Teddy, when we wrapped filming, was still this tiny little, I think he's like a cabochon or something, very tiny and fluffy. And he used to sit on your knee when you were getting your makeup done and like fall asleep, but it was so cute. So that was like February 2020, far too long ago. The last time I shared a Bridgerton meme was somebody on Twitter who said my wife is watching Bridgerton, or as I like to call it, Ride and Prejudice, <laughs> which I thought was absolutely genius. And I'm gonna think of it as that in my mind from now on. <laughs> the last time I cried during a TV show it was, was at Pose. Pose season two just like rips your heart out of your body and that whole cast are just so wonderful and they tell that story so truthfully so if i ever want a good cry i can just stick that straight on and i know it'll just be blubbing the last time i got great advice from a bridgerton co-star i think it's been quite a wild journey for all of us because you know the show has reached so many people and so many people love it but i think speaking to johnny bailey and phoebe Dinover. We're all sort of saying, let's just take this in and let's support one another. So maybe it's not so much advice, but just knowing that we're gonna try and enjoy this. And, you know, it's a lot of craziness, but I think at the end of the day, we just wanna come together and make a good show that people love. And that's a really lovely thing. Last time I gave someone a compliment, I would say was my best friend Maeve. She has just started, she's working as an occupational therapist and I was just very proud of her and I said, you know, you've achieved so much and look what you're doing and I love you. We should give more compliments to the people we love. You know, life is short, compliment people. The last time I received a compliment, oh, my mum complimented my hair today. Well, I think it's partly because we now have the same haircut and she's very happy about that. And she said, do you love your new hair? It's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> the last time I laughed so hard I cried was actually this weekend. It was my birthday and my friends hosted a Zoom birthday quiz in which they all dressed up as me um, from various different parts of my life and parts that I've played. And it was just 
ridiculous. They had different rounds, like iconic tiny blondes. And there was a, a RuPaul's Drag Race round just because I love Drag Race, but I laughed very, very much that weekend. It was great. The last time I had a paranormal encounter, I don't know if this counts, but it's funny because sometimes before bed, I'll read like freaky stories or ghost stories or like about people disappearing. And in the beginning, I'm like, super brave and I'm like this is all rubbish and then the more I read the more I get terrified and I can't like stick my foot out because I'm totally convinced that someone's gonna like grab it out of my bed so I'm not sure if that counts but I definitely psych myself up to think it. The last time I tripped in public I actually this has just made me remember that at the Bridgerton was it the Christmas party or the rap party? Some party where all the cast and crew were there. We were in a place called Shoreditch House and it has these stairs that they were quite dark and hard to see and everyone fell down them. So it became like a thing that someone would fall and we'd all go way, but I fell down that night in front of a lot of people when we were allowed to be around other humans. <laughs> Oh, the last time I was mistaken for another celebrity, even though I wouldn't call myself a celebrity, someone thought I was Florence Pugh and told me I was very good in Little Women. But you know, she was nominated for an Oscar for that and she's fantastic, so I will take that any day of the week. <laughs> Thank you for watching me play Last Time I. I've been Nicola Coughlin, now go watch Bridgerton. Followed by The Kelly Clarkson Show, followed by Bridgerton, etc, etc, etc. Bye!